Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about Cypher and they are having the play to airdrop at the moment. Now the coolest thing is on top of the play for airdrop, they are also having extra drops on the game. So if you start playing now, you can still grow your account very quickly. So I am very excited. I'm going to explain everything you need to know now if you decide to go ahead and play this game. I'm also going to leave a referral link below and this is going to give you 10% extra points on your account. So that is really cool. And I'm going to explain how you get the points, what you're going to use the points for and also all you need to know about the game. So let's first look at the points. So you're going to get the points by doing simple tasks like liking, following, retweeting and so on. So that's the social tasks that you normally get. And you also get daily tasks that you're going to be able to complete by playing the game. So that's really easy. Now, on top of that, you can get multipliers. So you can see here, I have a multiplier on the game of 99%. So all the points that I get is multiplied by 1.99. So I get almost twice more points because of my holdings on the game. So the first thing you can do to multiply your game is own an NFT of the game. So you, you can roll any of the NFTs. It can be uh, an Ico or it can be a Inu. So for me, on my case, I have a Kenneth Inu and I have a Face Walker Nico. So these are giving me 35% multiplier. Now I also have some Cypher tokens. So because I hold 1000 plus token, I get a 50% multiplier. Also your Ethereum's rank will influence how much you get it. So if you remember on my last video, I told you to create an account. So you can come here and create an account on the Ether Club and you can follow some tasks here as well. And you can do daily claims and this will increase your rank and then depending on your rank, you're going to have different multipliers. So for me, I'm a silver, so I get a 4% multiplier, a bronze would get 2% and so on. Now I get a 10% multiplier here as well because I use my own link to register. So if you do use my link, you're going to get a 10% multiplier here as well. Now the quests, like I said, are very simple. You can see here on the history, I did all the tasks I could. So basically it's about following, liking, retweeting, subscribing for different accounts. So you can do these tasks and get these different points here. You can also do your daily tasks. So here you have to play Cypher once a day and you're going to get 199 points or I think you're going to get 100 points. I'm getting 199 because I have the multiplier. Also do your daily forager will give you another 100 points. And then if you play the arena, you can play up to eight times. You can play more if you want it, but eight times are going to give you points. And if you do here eight mats, you're going to get here, depending on the brackets that you do. So you're going to get 50 points for each one. So you can get 400 points on total. Also, if you play the endless run and you really should do at least two endless run every day because they have extra jobs here that you can grow your account as well. So you get two every day and you can buy another two using tickets. So I'm going to show you when I say you can buy, you don't really need to expend any money. You can use your points on the game to get these extra tokens. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now you have five tickets to play the arena. Now the other ones you can get for free on the certain times of the day where the arena is open for free. So you can use five daily tickets at any time and then you can play another three times during the time where it's free and hopefully you're going to grow your ranking there as well. Now the main reason you want to participate on this airdrop is because they actually going to be distributing this Ether token. This is a new token they're going to be creating and this token is going to be a governance token for all the games on Ather Labs. So they Cypher is the first game they are creating. They are actually going to change all the Cypher token for this Ather token and also you're going to be receiving part of these tokens on the airdrop. So I'm very excited because this new token may be even more valuable than the Cypher token. Hopefully will be more valuable because it's going to be used on the how ecosystem from Etherlab. So I'm very excited for this new token. And this is the token you're going to be receiving if you participated on the airdrop. 
Now here it explains everything about the airdrop that we just went through. So all the details is here on the white paper as well. And you can come and check it out. It explains all the multipliers, explain all the NFTs. It tells us about all the different daily quests that you can have it and so on. So if you have any questions, refer to this document here that has all the explanations that you needed. You can see here, there is also some extra points that you receive that's not really specified on that website. So you can see you have milestone points. So depending on the phase of the game that you are, you receive a point. It also have points for the vessels that you hold it. It also has points for the different for the amount of captures that you open and we're going to be opening a lot of captures on this video as well so come here and check it out all the details see for opening capture you get 10 points per capture so that is really cool another way you can do is complete your missions every day get all the keys for the captures and keep open these captures and get the points so that is all for this as well and then finally, before I jump into the game, I just want to show here the Genesis NFT, all the benefits if you decided to get the Genesis NFT. So of course, on top of having a better character to play the game, you're going to get extra points. You're going to get a drop multipliers. You're going to get high stake wields. There is all the details here. So you can get some, actually, when you get your character, it comes with set of weapons and gear that are a lot better than the ones that you can find on the game so that is really cool so you, you can come here and check all this out as well now let's go and look at the game because i am very excited to play the game with you so here you can see uh, how the game look like i'm gonna show you my account for you like all the different vessels that i have so these are the vessels that i have and i have a lot of vessels one of the things that i think they need to figure out what to do is what to do with all these vessels that we have it now we can merit vessels you can see some of mine are two and three stars and you can acquire this by merging different vessels however even though i already have some three stars i have a lot of vessels that's still here that i could go ahead and merge into three stars ones but at the moment it would make no difference because i always play with the same vessels i try to level them up out to the set to the maximum level that i can and then i normally use my inu that's the the best one that i have so far i think my nico i need to go ahead and find other ones to merge into a three star one and so on so i have actually a nico here that's a legendary that i'm playing uh, it's just one star at the moment so i'm very excited to also go and level them up now, like I said, the NFT, so this one is an NFT and the way you know is an NFT is a, on the side where it shows the name has a, a hash and a number. If it's just a number, that's an NFT. If it has some letters like this one below the mecha has a burr, that is in-game character. So this one is an NFT and if we go to customize, you can see these are the gear that came with them. So you can see his head and his clothes is not the highest ones but the rest is all legendary and this was a common inu if we get my face walks on my nico here and i look at them most of them are legendary so just the head one also it's not so that is really cool these are the equipment other than the gun and the melee weapon they are all come with my character you cannot use it from start because you need to have a certain level i think to use this one here for example my Nico has to be level 45 so when I started I had to use some some common gear however when I reached level 45 I was able to put all my gear on my Nico and use it to play so that was very exciting now if we go back to the game and you can see here at the moment it's going having a free ticket for the arena and you can use this as many times as you want so it happened, I think it's three or four times a day where you have the chance to go ahead and play the arena for free. For the endless here, you can see you have daily extra drops, 100% extra drops. So everything you get, you get twice. So I got some very cool drops here because of this. And also the word exploration, you can see here, you can get extra drops. Now this happened actually three times a day, as you can see here for the word exploration is at 6, 14 and 22 UTC. 
and then for the angeles is 7 15 and 23 and for the daily ticket here because it's going on the same it doesn't shut it down but it's normally just after the angeless anarchy finish so that is really cool and i have been trying to do at least two to four angeless run every day i try to run at least one or two new states on the world exploration and i try to put a arena here i have to grow my characters to in the arena i have to get a better leaderboard as well so i try to use it as much as i can and take advantage to this deal now i also have a lot of capsules to open here so let's go ahead and open together now i'm gonna open one of each let's see what we're gonna get it's a long time i don't open anything on the channel so hopefully we're gonna get some stuff cool together so first let's get some characters and let's see what is gonna come here all right so let's go ahead we got a Nico, so that is really cool. So you normally get shards here. We got the character, so that is really cool. And that are the other shards that we receive it. Now that's really cool because I need to upgrade my Nico and I need some shards on that epic one. So that is really cool. Now let's accept this. Let's get some gears. Now gears, I also need some very good gears. Let's see what we're gonna get on this one here. I'm gonna skip. And we got some gears again we can get the schematic and then you can craft your gear or here i got a three star epic gear so that was really cool that was really lucky and i also got two blueprints for the gears here that is epic so that is really cool now let's accept this and let's get some weapon now some weapon also good always good i need some melee weapons i have some good guns but my melee weapons are not great so let's see what we can get here so again whoa we got a three stars a legendary gear that is amazing let's go to next look at this oh gosh i can't believe it i'm so happy with this i think i'm gonna start playing with my nico now i said my Inio. that was so i knew i knew i should open on the channel i was sure about this now this is a general capsule, so this will give different uh, gears, vessels, and it's it's just a mix. So let's go ahead and open and see what we're gonna get. Now again, so we get some parts of gears here that when we assemble, it, we can put on our gun, and this will increase the value of the gun. So that is really cool. And I have one more. Let's go ahead and open again. Why not? Okay, again we got another gun here ready to use and also we got a two stars here that is really cool now i still have one more let's try another weapon capsule let's see what's gonna come here let's go let's get a lot of legendary all right a three star epic that was really good push i'm very happy with this now you can also get this arachnid capsules and for this you're gonna find arachnid when you're playing the game and if you kill you're gonna get some capsules or some keys to open and there is also this power capsule where you're gonna get some of the scores that you use to actually go ahead and craft your weapon so that's really cool we can come here now you can see there is a lot of different vessels that i can go ahead and generate that generate one just to see so i'm going to generate this nico synthetic so you can see here the animation is really cool and I got so many different shards that I could go ahead and create another three here. However, you already see how that works. So let's skip this part. Also, we can come to back to my armory and we can craft the different guns that we got as well. So here is when you can select the gun. Let's select this one here just to show. So then you can go, you can put your core and you can also select the part. Like I said here, let's select this part here. And you can see my gun now is not really showing here on the screen for some reason i think and i just noticed that my chroma key was applying to the phone as well so the greens wasn't showing quite well but here you can see i'm increasing plus 189.95 points by applying this part here so that is really cool and then you can do your gun and it's going to show all the different stats from that gun and the coolest thing is that every gun is actually unique they have different colors different aesthetics and you can see the damage is maxed out that is really cool now uh, let's go back to the armory 
and the same go for the melee weapon and also if you want to craft some of the different gears now like i said when you play the game you're gonna get extra drops so if we come here and check it out at the game so let's go ahead and look on the word exploration and here where i am at the moment you can see as the objective i'm gonna be getting some core i'm also gonna be getting a gear blueprint three stars legendary i'm also gonna be getting five keys 370 rooms and i'm also gonna get weapon part three stars epic so that is really cool now on the rewards you can see what you can find so here most of the time you can find some three star weapon you can find some three star gear and here when you have your best luck you can have some legendary core some epic core and so on now how that you find it is gonna be duplicated if you play during the times where you have the extra drop so that is really cool and if you go to the endless run you're gonna find a lot of things now if you are starting to play one thing you always want to use is some potions so if you go to your inventory and you go in consumables you can see here i have this extra xp i normally use this small xp boost here you normally get a lot more than i can use it and you, if you activate it it's going to activate it for 15 minutes now my vessel is going to get a hundred percent experience on top of that i get a hundred percent of the drops so that is really amazing now the drops are not on a hundred percent at the moment the arena is free at the moment but i want to show you the endless run just quickly so if i go ahead and select i'm trying to grow this character because this is an epic inu that i am trying to get to the maximum level so i'm gonna come here so this is what i have equipped at the moment you can look the argumentation to see if it is what you needed so they have different argumentations here and i normally try to go for more critical attack and things that help me with the dash i use a lot as well so you have to decide how you play best and use the correct argumentation to help you on the game so let's go ahead and start this run so i can show you a little bit of the game i show my other videos but i am always excited to play so okay first i'll find one of my argumentations so i have three to use it i'm gonna go here and use the applying burn 40 percent chance so let's go ahead and use that and go for the first run so here is my character so this inu is really good i can use so let me first select this so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one and here for his attack uh, you can see i can get the stars here and i can de deploy three and uh, they do all the work for me so it's a lot better than the one i was playing before and i'm very excited i actually can quite run quite well with this character so let's go i'm gonna finish this because i'm already getting some extra experience so why not finish and i'll be back as soon as i as soon as i finish this run let's see how far can i get all right so i got kill here i got all the way to level 920 not bad not great but it's okay i think i got a little bit farther before however it's a bit difficult when you're being recorded here you can see all the drops that i received all the experience that i went so normally if i would play on the time that the drops are double i would receive everything that i got here times two now because i use uh, that potion uh, i also got twice more of my level so i was able to grow my character a lot faster now something else when you when you start playing the first thing i would do if i was you i go to missions and i look on the missions that i have to do that day so i just complete this mission here i actually just complete all the missions already but what I do is I look through all the missions and if there is a mission that I cannot do it for some reason, I just go ahead and reroll. You can reroll twice. It can be the same or it can be two different. So if there is one that is difficult for you, for example, if you are having difficulties to eliminate a boss, first thing you do is reroll that and, uh, you know, you already start to accumulate points from the beginning. So don't wait until the end of the day to reroll them. Go ahead, look at the on that ones and try to find out which ones you can complete and re-roll the one you can't. 
Now you can see on the top, there is this line here where you can get some extra points depending on how many you complete. And if you complete 30 on a week, you can get all the prize on the top. So you want to always try to complete them. And also there is the weekly ones here that you can complete as well. And this will give you some extra keys as well. So try, go ahead and keep an eye and try to complete them every week. So you're going to have more capsules to open. This is going to give you more airdrop points. And in the end, you're going to get more ether tokens as well. So I'm excited for Cypher. I'm excited to see what is coming next so if you are deciding to play this game please don't forget to use my referral link below if you like this video please like and subscribe and also if you want to share as well i would really appreciate it and i will see you on the next one bye now got to play again